Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create a procedural cobblestone in Blender. Before we start, please consider supporting this channel by buying this procedural material in my Gumroad store and my other products that I'm going to leave down in the description below. It'll help me a lot to proceed this dream. Okay, so let's get started. Before I start, I'm going to be using displacement. So I have in these objects subdivision. They are subdivided in the simple with adaptive subdivision. So that is why I'm using cycles on the experimental. So you can use the adaptive subdivisions. Another thing is for this to work, the material that we are going to use. So let's create a material. And the material that I'm going to use needs to be set to in the settings to bump only to displacement and bump so we'll be able to see the displacement you don't need to use displacement but i think it looks a bit nicer so let's start to actually create our material so first we are going to create the pattern and for that we need a voronoi texture and i'm going to click ctrl t to add the mapping coordinates i'm going to change to object and i'm going to Control shift click so I can preview these nodes. These are little spheres, kind of like, and we don't want this shape. So we want to change from F1 to distant to edge here and play with the random value. I'm going to lower mine to something like this. Looks good to me for now. Okay, so now these shapes are very uniform and I don't want that so I'm going to use a noise texture and I'm going to also add a mix if you are using a, a older version of blender it's going to be the mix RGB but now in the new version is mix and we are going to change it to color so connect the Voronoi texture to the B and the noise texture, the color to the factor. Okay, and, and now I'm, I want to be able to see what it's going on in here, so I'm going to sh control shift, left click, okay, and I want to change this from mix to dark, darken, and I also want a color ramp to control the black parts from the white so so shift a color ramp i'm going to set it in here and i'm going to crank this here and here and so now i'm going to be playing a bit with this i'm going to set the detail to the maximum and our noise to a higher values. Okay, for now, this looks good to me. So this is the base of our shape. And now we need to create the stone material and the dirt material. Let's start by the stone material. I'm going to use this principal shader. So I'm going to just, for now, connect this to the color, the color ramp to our surface. And I'm going to use this principal shader. I'm going to first, adds a noise texture. I'm going to add some coordinates. So I'm going to just duplicate this, use this and connect, sorry, connect the color to our base color. And I will shift, control shift and left click to preview our noise. And I'm going to set the scale a bit higher and the detail all the way up. And so now what I need is change the color of this because our stone is not white, it's gray, right? So let's add a color ramp, set this to a darker color and I'm going control 
left click in here to add a new one and I'm going to make this one darker. I want our mask to affect the color of our material so I'm going to use again a mix which is a mix RGB set it to color set it to multiply and I'm going to connect the factor to A and I'm going to connect the color of this color ramp of our base color ramp to the B and now we can see that the shape it's visible on our color ramp that is what we wanted okay our color ramp is done but we need to add some bump so what I'm going to do is add this I'm going to connect the effects of our noise texture to our normal now this looks a bit weird and I'm going to shift A look for bump connect it here connect it to the height sorry of our bump and right now this is really strong so I'm going to set it to 0 0.25 and it looks much better but again I want to add the bump of our mask to our new material so I'm going to shift D in our bump put it in here and use the color ramp of our mask and connect it to the height okay so we have our first bump the noise the effect is connected to the height and in our second bump we have the bump connected to the normal and the color ramp of our mask connected to the height and in here i want it to be stronger as you can see it looks much better if you set it to a high value and this is it for now this is our stone material but we need to add the dirt to our crack so let's shift d in our principle and let's now make our principle i'm going to control shift left click so i'm only seeing this material and uh, let's now create our dirt by using again a color ramp I'm going to use this so shift D I'm going to connect to the base color and I'm going to add a new color ramp and I'm going to change the colors so it looks more like dirt okay this looks nice to me maybe the scale needs to be smaller and now what I want is to create some bump so let's add some a bump node connected to the normal add this noise texture defect to the height again here is our noise let's make it a bit smaller like 0.25 and let's again give the bump of our mask to our dirt material so shift d connect the normal here and the color ramp let's use in the height so again we can see that it's using our mask to create the bump one last thing that i want to do before we wrap this material is to add a bit of moss so for that what I'm going to do is again shift a a color ramp use a color ramp I'm going to connect the effect of our noise in here and I'm going to set this all the way here and this all the way here let me just preview the mask with control shift left click uh, I think right now we need a bigger noise so like this looks good and I want to mix these two 
with a mix RGB. So mix, connect the color of our color ramp to the effect. Now I'm going to change this to color for me. Okay. Okay, right now this is white. We need to change this to a brownish green, like so. Okay, so now you are able to see those little green dots. I'm going to print this in here so you can see it better. So now we need to mix both of our materials together. So for that, we are going to use a mix shader. Connect this to the surface and connect this to one and this one to the other. So now they are mixed, but it doesn't know which one to choose to blend between. This is completely stone and this is completely dirt. So to do that, that is why we created our mask. So it knows exactly where to put each material. So let's connect the color of our color ramp from the mask to the factor. I want to add bump to our moss. So in order to do that, we need to come here and add another bump. So shift D and connect the color of this color ramp from the moss to the height and put this to a higher value. And now, as you can see, our moss has some bump, some really nice bump. And one last thing that I want to do is, like I said, add displacement. So we just need to shift A, displacement, connect the displacement to the displacement, and connect our color ramp from the mask to the height. And this is now all over the place. So I'm going to lower this to zero, mid-level, and this scale to 0 0.03 for me. And as you can see, now our cobblestone has some displacement and looks much, much nicer. So yeah, this is it, guys. This is how you create a procedural cobblestone in Blender. And as you saw, it's completely procedural, you can change the colors, you can change the shape in the randomness of the raw noise, everything. So please consider buying this material in my Gumroad store and I hope you liked it. Please give it a like, subscribe and I'll see you next week.